Okay, now I'm going to share with you one of my favorite ways to start a class. I always start a class with abdominal work and a little bit of a stretch. So I'm going to take this ball right here. I have one red spring on and I have my foot bar in the up position. On my reformer, that's the middle shelf. So I'm going to start seated. I'm going to bring my feet onto the platform right here like this. I'm going to place the ball right behind my low back, right behind my pelvis right there. Now, this ball, having this ball here really helps teach that Pilates scoop. So I'm going to lean into the ball, but lift my pubic bone and draw my rib cage to my hip bones. So I have that scoop. I'm hollowing out my low tummy. Hands come behind your head. However, you can also have your hands here. I'm going to inhale back. Typically, I do 10. Now exhale. I'm going to deflate my abdominals, draw my belly to that ball as I curl up and over. Inhale back. Exhale, deflate and scoop. I'm going to do three more. Now I'm going to come halfway back. I'm going to pause right here like this. Little tiny pulses for five, maintaining that scoop. Four, three, two, and one. Now I'm going to extend my right leg long. I'm going to inhale back, exhale, rotate my left shoulder towards the knee, not the elbow, the shoulder. So I need to rotate from the spine. I'm going to wring my abdom abdominals out like they're a sponge, <sighs> tightening that waist. One more. <sighs> and I switch feet. Keep in mind, typically in a real class situation, I do reps of eight to 10 here. Exhale, rotate. Shoulder to the elbow, rotating from the spine for three. Exhale, rotate. Two, one. Now I'm gonna scoot forward even more and I'm gonna place the ball between my shoulder blades. I'm gonna roll back a little bit farther. Tailbone is heavy on the carriage. Hands come behind my head. I'm gonna inhale back. I open up those ribs. It feels so good right there. And exhale, deflate the abdominals, curl. Typically I do 10. I'm gonna do about four more. For four, three, two, one. I'm gonna hold it right here. Now I'm gonna bring my feet up onto the foot bar. I'm gonna stay up in that C curve so I can keep an eye on my feet. And I'm gonna lift away for five. Squeezing those thighs together right there. Four, lifting up from that pelvic floor. Three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna keep my legs straight and I'm just gonna hop from the ankles. Five, four, really lifting from the pelvic floor, drawing the belly in tight, two, and one. I'm going to come all the way in. I'm going to bring my right hand down. That helps stabilize a lot. So press into that right palm, extend the right leg. Now I'm going to just practice jumping off the left leg. Remember, this is not about the legs. It's all about the core. And then I'm going to invite some rotation for five. It's not a huge jump. I've got four. You will definitely feel this for three, two, and one. Switching feet, right hand, left hand is down, right foot is down, left leg is long. Right hand Anytime down. you engage or activate those inner thighs, it helps trigger the pelvic floor. So the more we can tr trigger the pelvic floor, the better, right? So I'm gonna actively squeeze that ball. I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head. Head is heavy in my hands. I don't want the neck to do any work. Elbows are wide. So I'm gonna inhale, lower the legs down. Exhale, squeeze that ball, deflate the abdominals to lift back up. So I don't want the tops of the legs to do the work. It's all in those deep transverse abdominal muscles. I lift up from the pelvic floor, deflate the abs and lift. I'm gonna do five more. Inhale down, exhale, deflate those abdominals to lift. Two more. One more right here. Typically I would do 10. Now I'm gonna pause at this 45 degree angle right here. I'm gonna go into a contemporary hundreds breathing. I'm gonna reach my hands long, extend the fingers long, stay up in that C curve. I'm gonna start pumping my arms. I'm gonna inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Big inhale through my nose. Exhale, deflating those abdominals and squeezing that ball. Big inhale. Exhale, slowly squeeze the ball. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna change, I'm gonna exhale, squeeze the ball, draw the knees in. Two, three, four, five, lengthen. Ah. 
I'm going to do just one more. Using those abdominal muscles to draw those knees in. Now I'm going to give my neck a break. I'm going to continue the leg movement. I'm going to lengthen it long, squeeze the ball, deflate the abs for 10. Let's call this five. Four. Three. Two. I'm going to hold it right here. Now I'm going to do just tiny little coccyx curls, little pelvis lifts for five, working from those deep transverse abdominal muscles. I've got three, low tummy, two, and one. Now there's no way your client is not going to feel that work. It's so good. It isolates the transverse abdominal muscles so well. It's my favorite warm-up to do. I probably do that in 50, at least 50% 50 of my reformer classes. I have another warm-up that I'll share with you at another time. Thanks for tuning in.